Thanks for joining today in the next materials coffee break. My name is Michael Bass. Today I want to talk about shipping in our industry. So this very complex process because it involves several ways, several companies getting materials from one place to the final destination as a job site. So let's start for example with a vessel that's get fabricated at a supplier. So it starts with the fabrication as you can see here. It will be then put on a truck basically to, for example, to a harbor, right? Then from a harbor via a ship, obviously to a destination harbor, let's say to Brazil, wherever it is, from there we will be picked up by a truck and then we'll be arriving at the final job site, the final site warehouse. So this is, I think, a very normal step in, in our industry. But it's very complex because you have several steps included. So there are several terminology. For example, if the vessel is ready to be shipped, they're talking about the goods are ready for delivery. So it's typically a milestone achieved. So the next is item are now at the harbor. So that's another milestone. The items, the vessel is now along the ship. The next is the, now the vessel is actually on board. So, and it keeps going, and it will obviously one day, it will arrive in Brazil. That's then the, the arrival of the vessel in Brazil, the ship arrival. The goods are unloaded. And finally, finally, will be arrived at a uh, at job site. Now, the complicated part is, all this duration here, this can be over six months very easily, or three months, right? So the requirement is, based on a project plan, somebody will say, I need the vessel, let's say in November 2016, at the job site. And they do a normally a back calculation. So if I need the vessel here in November in 2016, when I need to start my process here. Because you don't want to start too early and definitely you don't want to start your purchasing process, your fabrication process too late. right? You don't want to deliver too late at the job site. So normally in materials management you know what the durations are between here and here. Let's say five days. I think you know where I'm coming from now. You know normally, based on, on the routing from Houston to Brazil, I don't know, but let's say it's 25 days, let's say. So and then you know this process perhaps takes five days. This process perhaps takes 60 days, the manufacturing, OK? So if I have now, and this date is called, required on-site date, ROS, that's the language. So if I need this in November 2016, you back calculate, okay, I need this now 30 days, 35 days, 90 days, three months earlier. So latest, I need to start my production, November minus three months, that's then October, uh, September, August, I need to start, let's say I put some buffer on it in July 2016. So now the next is, you as a coordinator know now July 2016. Now you need to find a supplier who can deliver this vessel to you contextually by two, July 2016. To do this, you need to start your processes perhaps already in let's say in April, your procurement processes in April to compare, evaluate suppliers and get a PO done latest by July 2016 to, to get all the supply chain done. Now there are two, the, two specific contract points with a supplier. So you say July 2016 is the start date, but you contractually, there are now two different contracts. That is what I put on, free on board. So this 
blue line means the supplier is responsible to manufacture the item and deliver this item free on board to the harbor. That is his responsibility. And this is a normal, normal contract. So when you buy something, you say, please deliver at this place. Right? Like you do perhaps today at Amazon, you say deliver at home. Or Xworks. Xworks means the responsibility is only to deliver the goods at his place. And somebody else will pick it up. Okay? So you make a contract date for this. So we say it's 30 days. So the contract date might be now, uh, let's say, September in this place, September 16. Why you decide that the contract date would be perhaps here mid-September 16, because it's just five days. You know? So there's a lot, the lot of thinking and planning behind it. And it's always back calculating. And then you have this chain. Now you have obviously the planning. You know we need to start in July. We do in September this. In October we'll be here. In November we'll be here. The next is basically to watch what's happening, to watch for any delays. As a normal process, now you ask the supplier in July, have you started your work? Have you now finished in all this? So now to make sure everything works perfectly in the supply chain, this is called, i just put this here, expediting. So that's a department normally in a company that does this and is watching this daily, weekly, what's happening with here in terms of expediting. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, today's webinar, uh, Michael Bass. Thank you.